Oh, it's so exciting yeah. though. Can't Feast your eyes on this, Sir Alan. Here is a sight for sore eyes, and no mistake. Oh, yeah, there he is. It's Giles Brandreth. What on earth are you wearing? I am wearing the costume of a Tudor sailor. I'm speaking to you from Croydon, and uh, I could take you back 500 years, and I'm going to in a moment, but first let me take you back to 1982. You will remember this historic moment, the recovery of the wreck of the Mary Rose from the Solent, the only 16th century warship on display in the world, the flagship of Henry VIII. Now, 300 artefacts from that ship have been brought from Portsmouth here to Croydon, to Whitgift School. Why Croydon, you may ask? Well, guess who owned a lot of the real estate around here? More than a thousand acres, Henry VIII himself. Yes, and this ship was built back in 1509, 500 years ago, built between 1509 and 1511, but it sank, unfortunately, in 1545. Here it is having that sinking feeling during an engagement with the French. With me here is Dr. Christopher Barnett, the headmaster of Whitgift School, the man behind this exhibition. And here is the skull... Of one of the sailors from the Mary Rose. The actual skull Absolutely. of one of the sailors. This is what he would have looked like. Though, Indeed. It? And yes. how do we know he would have looked like this? A lot of very careful forensic and scientific work has gone on, building a replica of the skull, putting the skin depth in, all the various stages to build up with the wax for the muscle layers. So eventually you end up with this wonderful face. And we know that he comes not from Whitgift School, but from the southwest of England, from the chemical composition of his teeth. And what was his job on the boat? He was a bosun. How do we know that? And we know he was a bosun because he was found with the bosun's call or whistle around his neck when he drowned. The bosun looked like this and he had a friend. This was his friend. This is the skeleton, the actual skeleton of the dog, the ship's dog, kept on board to keep down the rats and as a companion. When you come to this exhibition, we have an exclusive preview here. It opens next week. You can be guided around the exhibition by these little guide dogs. They had little dogs like this on board the Mary Rose. What's amazing about this exhibition is the quality of the artefacts. Because the ship sank so quickly, the silt preserved them. Look at my costume. Look at my shoes. Look at these shoes. This is an actual so shoe of one of the 500 sailors on board the Mary Rose. This comb here, this comb, look at that. It actually contains the, uh, some of the, the knits from the period. Over here we have a choir for you, the consort, the Whitgift School consort, pupils and teachers, and they're going to give us a piece of music by Henry VIII, I think I'm right in saying. So with this song, sing along, knowing that the royalties are going to royalty. <laughs> And from Giles. He's going to keep that costume on all night, he isn't he? He always is. Oh, he's enjoying he it too it, much.